The entrance exams of the Ghana School of Law is underway on the University of Ghana campus. An application seeking to hold the exams by 11 LLB students, uh, graduates actually, was dismissed by an Accra High Court on Thursday. If you were hoping the entry process into the Ghana School of Law will change soon, sorry, that will not happen. The registrar of the school, Nana Osei-Bonsu, has hinted the school has initiated the processes to make the exams and interviews constitutional. He has been speking with Joy News' Maxwell Agbaba. This have been initiated okay. and whatever processes that is put in place by 2018 mm. will be constitutional. Mm. So you'll be taking this to parliament to make it constitutional? We will do that. We have initiated the process already. We are, we've done a lot of consultation, we'll continue the consultation and we'll look at processes that will be constitutional. Mm. So you're not even looking at, you know, stopping it any time? <laughs> no, but that's why I asked you, when we yeah. stop it, how are you going to admit 1,400 people? Okay. How are you going to do that? There should be a process, that's what I'm saying. Mm. The Supreme Court says that it should come out with a process. Mm. And we're going to do that, we're going to make sure that whatever process that we come out with is constitutional. Okay. We'll, we respect the Constitution, respect the Supreme Court decision, we'll go by that. Okay. We'll come out with a process that is fair, that is constitutional, and people will be happy with it. Okay. Now, I want to find out from you, what do you make of assertions out there that um, the current system that we have um, just seeks to, you know, get a selected few into the practice of law? It actually does not, you know, um, open up for, for us to get more lawyers. And I think that what we should take note is the fact that this is a profession, this is a very noble profession, and we have to be sure that whoever comes out of it has the quality that we need. Mm. So it's not a question of just opening up and training anybody who wants to be a lawyer. Mm. I think that you agree with me that not anybody who can be anybody, mm. because the system is very fair. If you are able to make the grades, mm. if you are able to make the merit, you come in as a lawyer. So I think the system is very fair. And we should know that there is a quota for any system. Not everybody who wants to be a lawyer, wants to be a medical officer, can be. Not everybody who wants to be a civil engineer can be. In terms of capacity, there's a limit to how many people that can be taken. That is the challenge. We have 1,424 people taking the examination. Just yes. today? Just today. Okay. There's a question of capacity. Okay? So that is what we should look at. On that capacity, I want to find out what's the capacity of the Ghana, you know, um, uh, School of Law? No, as of now, yeah. we can take about 500 people. 500. Is it, is it a problem of infrastructure? So such that if we expand the infrastructure, then it's, it's, you'll be in a position to admit more, more law both, students? It's a, both in, a question of infrastructure and a question of availability of quality or qualified lecturers to teach. Mm. We have a, a problem with lecturers. Mm. Even for the faculties, we have a problem of lecturers mm. and also with the law school. Mm. So if you have a limited number of lecturers, okay, you cannot, because they will break down. Mm. So it's a question of infrastructure okay. and lecturers. Mm. Okay. So back to the fundamental question. Mm. Granted mm. that the infrastructure of the Ghana School of Law is, you know, expanded. Mm. And then we also uh, provide the human resource by increasing the number of lecturers. Mm. With the Ghana School of Law be in a position to admit more law students sure. and then clear, possibly, you know, um, remove the interview and then the examination system? As for removing the interview and examination system, I'm not sure uh, that's the wisest thing to do okay. because obviously there should be a criteria to select people who are coming. Okay. We can increase the capacity mm. by getting more uh, lecturers, mm. by expanding the facilities and increasing the intake. But there should be a way to select. Okay. There should be a way to, and don't forget, when you want to do your LLB in Legon mm. or KN University, you go to an inter examination to select. Not everybody who applies to do the LLB is given the opportunity to do the LLB. So why is it that when you are coming to a law school and we say there's a criteria to come, then it's a, it's a new thing? It shouldn't be news. You get my point? Yeah. Yes. Because if about 400 people were applied to go to Legon, mm. they would take about 100 to do the LLB. Mm. So 1,400 people want to come to law school and we are applying a criteria to take 500, why should that be a problem? Mm. It shouldn't be a problem. Well, 
The, uh, apart from the examination, which um, a lot of people think that, mm. yes, um, some people think that mm. it is fair. Mm. I just think that the interview session, mm. people just use their discretion. And there are times that we understand that questions like how many lawyers you have in your family have actually come up. How do you judge, judge the competence of, you know, um, an interviewee based on the number of lawyers in his family? No, I think that people are just, you know, stretching the point. Mm. Interview is a process. A lot of questions are asked. Mm. One of them may be that just to. You see, sometimes when the people come into the hall mm. or into the uh, interview panel, mm. they are tensed up. So you ask some of these questions just to relax the person. Mm. So you, we don't select people based on the, the number of people in your, your, your family. No, that's not what we do. Mm. We ask questions to try and find out exactly who the person is. There have been instances where through the interview, we're able to see that these are people who do not have the requisite conduct mm. to become lawyers. And mind you, the act says that to become a lawyer, you, are, you have to have good conduct. Mm. So how do you judge good conduct, well, for instance? That's a lot of questions. For example, somebody, you look at the, the, the forms that he has filled, mm. then he was employed somewhere. It was truncated for a very long time. There was no employment. What happened? Mm. An instant, we found out that the person was dismissed. Mm. OK? And it, it bordered on malfeasance. And such a person cannot be a lawyer. Mm. The application by the 11 prospective lawyers followed a Supreme Court ruling that the entry process of the school was unconstitutional. The Apex Court had ruled that even though the exam and its subsequent interviews were unconstitutional, it does not want to disrupt the process for the academic year. Hence, will allow it to pass this year. The court, however, urged the school to initiate steps to, take it, to make it legal for the subsequent years. Now, some of the LLB degree holders writing the paper are not enthused about the rigorous process they have to go through to become lawyers. First is managing editor of the Daily Searchlight newspaper, Ken Crunchy, who is also writing the paper. I think it, it is a general societal problem that we have. The fact of the matter is that we need to train more professionals. Mm. We need to train more doctors, more lawyers, more architects, more of everything, mm. um, so that we can Im improve the quality of, of life of our people. Mm. I think that the uh, conditions for acceptance into the law school are a bit stringent. Mm. Uh, if uh, our leadership can, the General Legal Council can look at it, mm and uh, make it better. There are ways we can, you can do it without necessarily compromising on quality. Mm. Yes, that, that can easily be done in my opinion. Mm. As a profession, it's a normal profession. And I don't think um, automatically every LLB graduate will, will become a lawyer. Mm. But what we are pleading for is that uh, if we have a system to absorb LLB graduates, the system should be able to absorb more than what we are seeing today. We have a system whereby you see about 1,000 plus applicants yielding to become lawyers. And yet the system absorbs like 450 or 500 maximum. We are ready, but the issue is that um, we are learning the law, okay? And if our superiors are saying something which is illegal, unconstitutional, and they still want us to come and write the exams, um, we, we are afraid that we, 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 we are condoning and conniving with an illegality. And that is not a good practice for us coming up mm. because we are learning from them. Something which is illegal and unconstitutional, why do you? It's, it's like you telling someone who goes to sell, steal, mm. that stealing is an offense, right? Mm. Okay, today go and steal, but tomorrow you can't go and steal. Mm. What? The import we are all trying to say, we get from this fact is that um, they want to make this a reserved profession for certain class of people in society, for their future children generational. Because go to the medical school, you see most of the medical doctors, their children having way becoming medical doctors. Mm. Trace it from the history in Ghana. Mm. Look at the past, past presidents. Mm. Look at the current ones. Look at where their children are. They are grooming them to a certain angle so that they can help either in one way or the other mm. preserve them in future. Mm. But this thing should be made for the ordinary man. Okay. Who needs the ordinary man who needs this more than the people who are at the top. Okay. 